Hey guys, what's up? I shot a video yesterday where I built my first Global Trust Totems. A lot of people liked it. Thank you for watching that video. A lot of questions popped up I wanted to address in this video though. First question, what is that trusting system called? Well, it doesn't really have a name, but we could name it. Let's call it the, um, I don't know, how about the BSR-1000? Thing is, is that Global Trust is very modular. You buy pieces and you construct whatever you want. Much like some of you do with Erector sets or Tinker Toys or even Legos. Except each individual Lego, you gotta buy separately. So you imagine what you wanna build, you look at the website, you find all the pieces, and you build it. That's what I did. A lot of people are asking about cost and what's all involved with this. Well here, if you wanna build my totems, I went online to just random online sites and pulled some prices for all the accessories that I used. Check it out. First of all, we've got this 16 by 16 base plate that we're using as a top plate. We're using two of these. We also have this F34 2.46 foot long trussing piece. Now you can get these a lot longer. You can save money by getting longer lengths. But what I wanted to do was make this very portable so I can show you guys how easy it was to transport. So I got six of these guys. And last but not least, we have the 30 by 30 base plate. Aluminum, 35 pounds, the lightest in the industry. Really nice stuff, two of these. Those were kind of the average prices I was finding online. Some were more and some were less. Some had free shipping, some didn't. So do your own Google search and see what you come up with. And remember, you can build whatever you want, so it's really up to your imagination. Go crazy, have fun with this stuff. But remember, you gotta transport this. A lot of people have made the comment, well, you know, this really wasn't made with the mobile DJ in mind. They need to rethink it. Hold on a minute. This was not built for mobile DJs. This was built for big concerts, stage productions, that kind of stuff. It's used in a lot of applications. I've seen it used on railroads. I've seen it used as boat docks. I've seen it used as all kinds of stuff. But we can use it for more production quality work. We can go out and do some more upscale events or some big corporate events or bet mitzvahs and really set things off. You can build trade show booths out of this stuff. You can do anything you want. It's definitely a cool product. It's something I'm getting into, I'm excited about, and I'm gonna get more. This is just for starters, so stay tuned for that. If you've got any more questions, write down here in the comment section. Happy to answer them for you. And real soon, probably when I get back from Germany, which I'm gonna go do next week, we'll load the vehicle with this stuff so we can kinda see what it looks like in my Suburban, along with room for plenty of subwoofers, top cabs, and everything else we need to DJ with. Practice and enjoy.